All right, guys. After chasing this tractor around for weeks, um, found out that John Deere couldn't fix it, so they referred me to a machine shop. The machine shop couldn't, well, he was out hunting for a long time. Couldn't quite get that done. So I just got fed up with it. I bought a cheapo Harbor Freight welder and I'm going to patch it together until the job's done. Um, really, I'm not a an experienced welder. I'd be in a, a beginning welder at best. So I'm not going to show you welding, lest you try to follow my lead. But I'll let you watch over my shoulder while I tinker around and I'll show you what I did when I'm done. I'm just really let down by John Deere. But anyway, I'll go get to work. This is something that it's just the way life goes as a farmer, as a homesteader. Things break down and if you can't figure out how to do it yourself, you're sunk. Anyway, let's get working on it. This part might be visually boring, so I'll do some audio commentary as I go. Um, so the idea here, I saved a piece that had been broken off, and I'm going to try to weld it back in place and create enough of a bridge um, so that the pin won't jump out of the socket. Um, you can see here that I'm, I'm a fantastic welder. It takes a lot of finagling to get everything in place. And <laughs> Look at how much that swings. That horizontal pin there is worn out and definitely has most of the wobble there is in that that horizontal pin not the vertical pin that I'm fixing. I'm seeing here if I can get it to weld, strike and weld and if I can build up the edges and I find out that I can and now I'm trying to see if that piece will fit and I found out that it was bent. It was bent in a way that wouldn't make it work. Hammering it out didn't work and so I grab this pipe wrench to straighten it out and I'll tell you more about it. I've got a part here that's not round. It bent when it broke out. So I'm going to try to hook it in something and, and bend it straight. I'm using, using my surroundings because I don't have the right chop tools. I guess that's part of life, right? a good hole to shove it into and I straight, or, uh, straightened out my bend enough. Guess it'll work. Let's give it a try. It's fun when things like that actually work out and that's the story of your life as a homesteader. But I've said that too many times. You know, as you watch me tinker away at this, I want to say another word about this John Deere dealership. You know, Growing up in the farming community in Idaho where I grew up, uh, very rarely, if ever, we went to a mechanic because we tried to stock our shop to fix it ourselves. But there were things that had to be fixed by a mechanic, um, whether it be beyond our capability or if we were dead in the heat of harvest or planting and it just had to be fixed. And guys like the dealerships and the mechanics reacted that way. They they understood the plight and you know they were there within hours if they could and they'd have it fixed within a day if they could and if not they understood and they would be apologizing or helping out or doing everything they could calling their buddies that's what I grew up with that's what I was used to and this experience here has been extremely disappointing it's like they didn't even care I, I told them multiple times I'm working on building a house can you do this and can you do it in a timely manner? And they're like, well, sure, I, I know we can. We do a great job. Get it in here, we'll tell you more. We'll tell you how much it'll cost and, and what types of fixes will be necessary. And, and sure, we can pick it up off the ground. Like I told them, it was laying, the, the backhoe arm was laying on the ground. 
can you pick it up and get it on your trailer? Sure thing. <laughs> it just ended up being a bucket of lies and, and I was pushing the whole thing. Nobody called me. I was always calling to check on things to see how it was going. It was a very disappointing experience. Nothing like the John Deere I know and I'm truly disappointed. And uh, I, I wish I knew a more appropriate way to reach out than on this video, but it's what I have. So it is what it is. And in the end, you'll see that the tractor got fixed and I'll take it from there, learn my lesson, and the local John Deere will only see me when I need parts. So when I bought this tractor, I looked at a lot of points across this um, attachment and I determined that, a, you know, a farmer must have patched it together multiple times in multiple ways. And maybe it wasn't a farmer, but you know, somebody had patched this thing together, broken and patched up. This part especially. And I looked at this top part and I was like, ooh, that's good and strong. So whatever, whatever broke, um, the guy came in and fixed it and made this really good top part, right? Now this arm swivels on this pin and I failed to go all the way underneath and look. So this looks a touch better than what it did when I first bought it. Basically, um, they put some pieces of metal in here and then built it up with, with a weld to, <laughs> to fix it. And believe it or not, I did the same thing just to get it by, uh, like I explained before, and it looks you know, a hundred times more secure than it did before I started. So there's a piece of metal, this whole back side was gone, and I I took that piece that had broken out and welded it back in with just an ugly amount of weld. <laughs> and I did it here too, and uh, you know, just built built up the edge. So now I've got about three quarters of an inch of this pin in this swivel joint and once it cools I'll try to pack a little grease down in there and cross my fingers that it'll get me by until this job's done. It's an ugly weld and it's a patch job but it's done and if I would have sent it well if I would have waited around till John Deere had it fixed um, instead of wasting one month I would have wasted two so I guess I'll learn my lesson and I know exactly what I need to fix when I have a little more downtime, right? Next winter. This winter I'm building a house, next winter I'm fixing the tractor. Um, but whatever, it works now. I just had the tractor fired up and was wiggling it around gently because the welds are still hot and fresh. But uh, it's good to go. The time has come to close this video. I didn't get any good footage of me actually using my repair job but I ran the tractor all day yesterday I did a lot of clearing work I'll try to do this little spin here you can see all the ground behind me has been turned up and a lot of stumps pulled out uh, I was using the the hoe on the backhoe to dig all the stumps out and it did fairly well held together no problems there definitely a patch job but it wasn't getting done any other way, so got it done. Hey, thanks a bunch for watching. Um, if you haven't seen part one and part two, uh, I'll leave some links at the end of the video so you can see the first part and second part. And if you're new to my, uh, my experience up here, I'm a modern homesteader and I'm working on building an off-the-grid home. Uh, it'll be a roundhouse. It'll be pretty cool. Family and I are moving out to a new homestead in Washington. I encourage you to see my other videos. Um, you can see them on my channel. Uh, I'll leave some links to those below and um, take a look. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. If these videos have been helpful or interesting to you at all, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Um, you know, that other options there too if, if I've earned that one. So again this John Deere dealership isn't 
isn't what I'm used to. And I'm hoping that it's not common beyond the farming communities for a John Deere dealership to act this way. If you've had this experience, uh, leave some comments below. Um, let's, let's start that conversation. Good or bad? Uh, I've had lots of good experience with John Deere. John Deere has a good name in my farming community back in southern Idaho. Here, so far, they haven't earned my trust. For those of you who are dying to know, they're, they're the Washington tractor uh, spin-off, you know. Everybody buys into the John Deere tractor franchise. They're Washington tractor. I, I hope their other branches are better than this one. Anyway, any, if any of you from Washington tractor are watching this, uh, my experience was poor, and I'm sorry to report that. I hope you can make it better for other customers. Just, just saying. Anyway, enough of that. That was a long rant for uh, lots of boring years. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks again for following me on this journey. And I hope you continue to take this journey with me on Simple Ground.